Do it, guys. Oh, oh, you've just crashed into that car, man. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Odd in Yorkshire. So, we are in Shipley today. And we're going to do something a little bit different. Well, different for me anyway. Uh, so, I actually wanted to go to a police station called Bingley. Or in Bingley, should I say. But it ain't there anymore, it's been knocked down. Now the plan was to do a nighttime audit and I thought while I'm out and about and I'm in the area I might as well get at least one more done, at least one more done, one more police station. Uh, so we're going to Shipley. Now a lot of you guys might not have seen the video but Shipley Police Station was my very first audit, guys. So if you go all the way back to the beginning of my channel, uh, you will see uh, a couple of videos and in front of them, you've got Halifax Police Station audit and then Shipley Police Station audit. Well, the Shipley Police Station one was uploaded after the Halifax one, but at Shipley it was my very first audit, guys. So I have returned uh, to do a revisit at the place where it all started Shipley and when I came here back in the day I say, I say that like it was years ago it was only about six months ago um, I only had a camera phone I didn't have any of the fancy equipment tech and stuff that I've got now and drones which I'm not going to be uh, getting out because it's too dark but I have Brought my cam I brought my torch guys. So we can see what we're doing. Critters are out. See uh, I only got one interaction when I first came here. About six months ago. Just got one interaction, that were it. Uh, and I actually asked a couple of officers for a copy of purse. Explain that it should be ready, readily available at all police stations, and they told me to go to Bradford Trafalgar House. All this grass stuff wasn't here when I came. All these overgrowing trees. You could actually you could see down there. There we go. This is a different audit for me, isn't it, guys? Nighttime one. I don't do a lot of nighttime ones, especially with a torch. So that windmill wasn't here last time I came. That's new. And you've got <coughs> some police boots down here. With stuff growing out of them. You don't see that every day either. Hey, up, we've got more here, look, we've got, uh, woo, what we've got here? Police boots everywhere. Like a little, something living in there. Yeah, they've just got little plant pots in. Get a state of that boot. Well, looks like it's seen better days. I've got more down there. And more down here. And a yellow phone up wall. This is, this is another police station what's closed down. And no custody suite. Now, I will have uploaded the Keyfley police station video before this one uh, so you'll know what I'm talking about here 
see right in my bum hook. So when I were in Key, uh, Keyford Police Station, what I was saying, if you haven't seen that video, is it's absolutely massive. It's got no custody suite and it's closed to public. Now I think it's wrong that you've got a building that big, what's costing the taxpayers money. What's not open to public? It's no, I mean, you know, it used to have a custody suite and now it don't. Get rid of it. Get something smaller. Like Shipley Police Station, yeah, fair enough, it's not open to public anymore. It don't have a custody suite anymore. But it's small. Do you know what I mean? And it's not costing the taxpayers a lot of money. Well, not compared to the one in Keithley anyway. So, we've got a bit of light round here. Grip box is full and we've got a new shovel. Still got a price tag on. Uh, so this is size uh, the side of a building. You can sort of like see what we're dealing with here. Now this this here is some kind of police vehicle, Bradford District Safer Schools Partnership. Uh, YJ police car van car you can just see the cage in my back look you can see the cage where we keep the prisoners vehicle def vehicle defective do not use not seen one of them before. Wrap around the steering wheel. So the question you've got to ask yourself is it's a 70 plate. Why is it defective? <coughs> Parking for police and staff vehicles only. Um, private, private roadway, no access for police vehicles. I think this is just people's houses down here. It used to be years ago, something to do with police. But I think that is where the house, it's got barriers in window. We'll go look at that in a minute. It's got one of them locks on the door, you know, like like we have uh, like a combination key. Got its pitch black around here. Um, key card we've got a light round here anyway don't know what's in there can't quite see well can't, can't reach you can see what's in there Yeah, so all this is uh, well overgrown. 
looks like it's under building. Can't even reach up there. Not tall enough. Oh, well, it's underground. We've got like an underground bit. You see, there's some right right equipment in there <clears throat> yeah there's some courts and some right equipment lockers just looks like a storage facility on the ground. Do you know what amazes me how there's a man with a torch walking out back of a police station <coughs> and no one's come out to see what I'm doing. Let's go, go check this other building out, shall we? I'm sure it used to be that one there, uh, some kind of police house back in there. So we'll go check it out. Gonna, um, gonna come to your GoPro for this one, guys. So I've just come in. There's definitely no one living here. No, it's just an empty building, look. Can you see? Let's put me other camera on a minute. There we go. So this is right back. And it's just an empty building. So it did used to be something to do with police. Probably many moons ago. It's quite interesting though. Someone's been canvassing and dumped all the leaflets. It's the dumping ground. But yeah, it's all locked up. Even in the letterbox, it's all been uh, been sealed up so you can't look inside. And I bet you, I bet you, police are still being charged for it as well. More taxpayers' money. What's going down the drain?
but yeah, we did, we was doing a lot of building work and stuff not so long ago, so past that point I think I actually think it's people's houses, I remember that, <coughs> where we've just been, so, but yeah I'll come back to you if we get any interaction. Not much going on at the minute. Oh yeah. Do you know the mouses down there? Are they private? Which houses? Them. Down there at the bottom. What do you mean private? Like owned by public? Yeah, or is it like put something to do with police? They're not ours. They're not, not yours? Ours no. Because it says police vehicles only on here. Yeah. You know well, like... As far as I'm aware they're not ours. But police parking uh, only. So and I've seen some, ours, but someone like an inspector or someone, or someone higher up might know something different. All oh, right, because I've seen people parking in your bays and then walking down there and going into yeah. houses. So I just wondered what it were all about. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, they're not ours, but you don't know, do you? Well, that's true. Uh, do you know the police house? Do you know the house there? What's what's derelict? Which one? The one what's empty through them gates. Right. See, I normally work up kids because I don't know the station too well, so you're telling me what's here and I don't know what All oh, right, here, I, I know. thought you were from here because I was just going to ask what it used to be used for because it's empty. Right. Uh, no. Uh, I've, I've it's, just it's been. A good conversation, but it's, I've radio going, I've got a message going, I need to go and pick up my colleague, so all right. Yeah, yeah, right, sound. Yeah. Sound. You take care. Just make sure you don't kick up a force or anything, yeah? And take care then, yeah? I ain't seen anyone, mate. No, Honestly, I've not seen anyone. Right, I am going to wrap the video up soon. Apparently he's picking his colleague up because they're going to an emergency. But then he just walks off casually. So what we'll do is we'll hang about for five minutes and uh, we'll see if we can get some blues and twos on go. You all right, guys? Hiya. <coughs> you going to an emergency? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's what he was saying. Is it? Is this your rig? Is this your base police station? It is, yeah. Uh, very quickly, I just wondered what that house, that empty house, was there. Did it well, used to be a police I'm building? I'm really sorry, we've got a domestic to go. Uh, no. All right, no worries, love. Sorry. Blue lights. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we get blue lights on for us, guys. We're going to a domestic. See you later, guys. Oh, oh, you've just crashed into that car, man. Whoa. That's not going to be cheap. I'll show you guys, she's just crashed. Right. Hey? She's just straight reversed into that. Wow. Talk about having an egg on your face, mate. Oh, she's pulling over now. Well, this video's got interesting all of a sudden. So we've got. I think she's broke lights as well. I think that's off her, her van. It's a heap of crap anyway. Taxpayers' money, boy, isn't it? Oh, 
Yeah, there it is. Yeah, she's broke a light. Oof. I have a hard time explaining that to you, Inspector. <laughs> oh, God. Can't blame that on me. What's she doing? Is she getting out of the car or what? Oh, she's just sat in there a minute. Yeah, so basically, uh, she couldn't talk because she's going to an emergency. Reversed out, didn't full lock it, but looks of it. I went straight into that. So she's going to have to get someone else on the job now. Well, would you Adam and Eve it, guys? I mean, I'm not sure if anybody else other than me has done this police station, right? This is a revisit to Shipwood Police Station, and I'm not sure if anyone else has done it. But we have caught a police bump live. Well, not live. Live for me, not live for you. On this old 13 plate van. Who's parked it there anyway? I have no idea. What the hell's it parked here for? Come back to if she gets out, guys. Have you got time to talk to me now? Have you got time to talk to me now? What happened? Yeah. Can't believe you did that, man. I know. Well, the people were distracting you while I was trying to drive. Why was distracting you? Is that aimed at me? No, not at all. All right. Colleague. Your colleague? Mm. You, know, you should not be distracting your colleague when she's driving a police vehicle. Naughty, naughty boy. No worries, love. You take care, won't you? I hope you get it sorted out. <laughs> oh, God. To be fair, to be fair, she were all right about it. Uh, I thought I thought she would aim in the distraction part at me then. I was going to say, I'm not distracting her. Should be concentrating on the road. Not concentrating on a man with a camera, but she's... Uh, she got distracted by a colleague, apparently. And I just think that's a big, massive excuse. Because she's got egg on her face, well and truly. First time, first time I've ever caught a police bump. Oh yeah, I'm down now. Yeah. Them lights aren't going to be cheap, have I? First time I've ever caught a, caught a bump. Straight went into that Muppet. You watch yourself when you leave here, mate. When you leave here, you watch yourself. You don't be crashing into Walt, will you? On my out. I'll try my best. Like your colleague just has. Thank you for your concern, mate. I'm not concerned. <laughs> right, I think that's it, guys. Uh, somebody else is definitely going to have to deal with that domestic. Do you know what? Five minutes prior, I'm going to get myself off. I'm glad I stuck around now. Because I've never caught anything like that on camera. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get myself off home now because I'm absolutely freezing. So, uh, yeah, about an hour's drive back. 
and then next time next time I'm out I'm going to be hitting Manchester so if you, you know what to do guys if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe hopefully she won't hit any more police vehicles on way out and she'll enjoy the rest of the night and I'll see you in the next one